Zimmer. Hey, what's up, everybody? We are officially live. Everyone should be able to see us and hear us now. Let's make sure. Let's test those mics. Everyone say hello. Rob, you start off. <laughs> are we gonna Are we gonna try this for real? I think we're you gonna, gonna try. try it. All right, let's we're do. Gonna it. Try it. Hello. 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 Uh, we need to practice that Damn really i don't know why jazz training yeah i don't know why we do this every time without practicing we just we always just decide on the fly we're like all right we're live well, let's just try some stuff i don't know let's uh it's called i i can't remember it's uh, the overture you know when you, like, you walk <laughs> yeah. into a, a musical and you hear hey. the, the orchestra warming up ben, ben said it was going so well and then <laughs> exactly <laughs> Sounds exactly. like last session. Hey, hey. Am I oh, right? hey. hey. Let's <laughs> leave last session behind us. Exactly. <laughs> I don't well, hey. think we can. <laughs> well, let's get, let, let's get into it. Hey, this is our weekly Cyberpunk Red gameplay we do right here for Sirenscape every Thursday at the same place, same time, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, yeah, we just got out of a crazy campaign. Uh, I'll do, a, I'll do a recap on that in a moment, and then we'll start today's campaign. But before we get into all that craziness... Let's take a moment to do like we always do. Let's go around the table. Everyone introduce yourself. Tell people where they can find you online, what you have going on, and then introduce your character as well. Ellen, start it off. Hi, I am Ellen, or I am Ellen K. Graham One on Twitter. You should follow me there. I post uh, funny stuff, but also maybe interesting stuff. No, not really. It's mainly about um, me playing Switch in the bath uh, and everyone screaming at me to stop playing Switch in my bathtub because one day I'll drop it. But you know what? That's that's why you gotta subscribe. Oh no! <laughs> um, <and> I, <laughs> that got dark also, quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, mainly just to buy me a new Nintendo Switch, I'll be fine. Um, and you can also find me mostly at Roll to Cast, which is a any winning variety TTRPG podcast. Uh, and each season is a different game system, so there is something for everyone. Each story is self-contained, fully scored fully acted, fully professional, and full on. Um, and uh, you can, yeah, you can check out all of our seven seasons on wherever you listen to podcasts. We've got Cyberpunk 2020 in Red, Witcher, uh, Kids on Bikes, um, uh, Pulp Cthulhu, Vampire the Masquerade, and we're currently playing Avatar Legends, which is about to come out. So if you're excited for Avatar Legends, listen to our current season, Homeland, to uh, get a bit of a taste for how the game plays. Um, so check us out there, and Phil will tell you all about that other good stuff. Um, and I'm playing Alley Cats, <laughs> the rocker of your dreams, but mm, I think in this case, probably a never-ending dream that you will never, ever wake up from. Uh! Oh, no. <laughs> I think we were discussing. Oh, no, we were it. discussing during intro it being the Groundhog's Day of TTRPGs. Like it's just going to keep repeating till you get it right, and yeah. you're just stuck yeah. right now. <laughs> no, all right, Rockette. Hello, everyone. I am the person who you may realize is Rockette Fox, and you too can find me on all the places. But now you can also find me over on. Cyber Nation Uncensored because I officially hey. have joined as a partner. Yay! And the crowd went wild. Hey. Crowd noises. 
Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I have a couple shows that I'm going to be uh, getting over there. And you will love it. So you will be there. I'm just going to pencil that in on your calendar. Uh, but the cr- the crowd was a little I- late, by the way. I was triggering it there on Sirens. They were a little late, but they got excited. You can hear them cheering. Right there. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I, I was just early. No, that's fine. Um, but otherwise, you can find me in all the places. I've got some new swag and goodies in my shop so come on over to rocketfox.com where i do art stuff and other things uh yeah but as far as tonight slash tomorrow slash this morning wherever you are goes i will be playing hades who once was involved with somebody who wasn't brainwashed (laughs) maybe did that even happen long time ago now (laughs) and did that really even happen i don't i think we determined (laughs) hey i don't know <laughs> we'll figure it out. We took the humanity loss, so it's real. Yeah, we'll figure <laughs> it out. Exactly, exactly. Hey, and we, we discussed that. I put that in chat that all IP earned during uh, all this craziness did happen because it was real to you all, everything that happened, you know? Um, but we'll, we'll get into that. Now, see, I'm starting to recap before we finished our introduction. So hold on. What am I doing here? Back up a minute. Phil. <laughs> uh, hello. Yes, I'm Phil or uh, Scruff, uh, S K K R U F. Uh, you can find me uh, on Twitter or here on on Twitch doing this, um, and uh, I'm also uh, part of Cybernation on Sensors. Uh, two other shows. We're kicking uh, the GM roundtable back into gear, which should be a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, so look out for that. And uh, we're also doing Shadows of Estrin coming up, which is a, a dark fantasy game, which I'm looking forward to very, very, very much so. Um, but I'm also part of uh, Roll to Cast, as uh, Ellen pointed out. And I'll just point out some other things that we do. We have a lovely YouTube channel uh, where we have a bunch of Let's Plays, and we also do live streams every month. We play a, a different game at the end of every month, different one-shot. Um, uh, over there on YouTube, and our, our Bonza tier patrons get to choose what we play. And speaking of patrons, uh, we have uh, a, a cool Discord where you can hang out. This week, I've been playing uh, Parsley games with all our uh, all our uh, subscribers. So Parsley games are like old text passing games of yore, where you go get flour, uh, and I'm then I'm me. I'm the computer. I get sarcastic with you when you enter add instructions in. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we do over there. Uh, please come and support us if you like. Uh, but today, I'm playing Bud, the solo who is quite peeved at the situation. <laughs> Very well put. And I apologize for being a little out of it. Uh, we just finished one of our streams. I'm doing a, a manual raid while I'm also hosting this so I can uh, get all our viewers over there to be tuning in. So give me one second. And there we go. I think Rating yourself. Yeah, right, Rating right, ourselves right. from our other <laughs> our actual channel. <laughs> All right. Let's hope that went through. There we go. Rating with a party of 16. Yay! Welcome to the party, everyone. Uh, Brandon. Hello. Hello. I'm Brandon Perkins, also known as DM underscore Brando. And you can find me uh, across the internet, but mostly on Cybernation Uncensored, where you will uh, eventually see me doing a book reading and uh, running a show, secret show. Uh <clears throat> But you can also find me here on uh, Sirenscape uh, and occasionally on Realmsmith. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm playing Rush, the fixer who is supremely confused right now, but feeling like he's about reached the max of what a fixer can do at roll ability 10. Ooh, that is very <laughs> impressive. I'm excited to see uh, you know, what we do with these connections, how this could possibly play out reaching... Uh, uh, you know, a rank of 10 for your fixer. That's incredible. Um, but hey, before we get into that, let me introduce myself. I'm Rob Mulligan. I'm the game master here, but I'm also the founder of Cybernation Uncensored. Cybernation Uncensored is, well, it's really been expanding lately. Lots of new game masters and content creators, as Rocket Fox mentioned, and Brandon, they've joined up uh, with our team, as well as other game masters and content creators. Udahime, our community manager, just ran her uh, interview show uh, today that just ended. That's what they we were just able to raid with, which is very cool. She's going to do that weekly and uh, do have different guests and then raid our 
hour gameplay right after. So we should be able to kind of team up in that way right there for some cool streamage. Uh, but yeah, check out Cyber Nation Uncensored both on Twitch and on YouTube and anywhere you see podcasts. Uh, we have all kinds of content, like I mentioned, and we're going to have live streams almost every day of the week very soon. Uh, it's already kind of starting up. I think the only days we don't have streams are the occasional Sunday or Monday, uh, but we'll be filling everything. And, and some days, a couple of different streams uh, in the same day. So all kinds of content and expansions coming. Uh, and, a, and a really active Discord. Check that out too. Uh, but before you show me any love or any of our players here, make sure you take a moment to show some love to Sirenscape. It's the reason we're here every week. We play this game every Thursday right here, same place, same time. But aside from that, Sirenscape is an amazing tool for any gameplay. Check it out. It's uh, it's free to sign up and try it out. You get a free trial. Uh, it works in your browser now, so you literally just play the sounds and share the link with your players and they hear it. Um, it's an amazing tool. You really should check it out if you haven't already. Um, not, not enough I can say about Sirenscape. Um, also, make sure you subscribe and follow right here on Sirenscape's Twitch, and you go check out the YouTube. We put all the VODs there. They've been making lots of really cool clips from our gameplay, and there's awesome clips. I think Phil mentioned it uh, in the previous stream uh, from Ben, where he showcases the different sound sets, and they're just absolutely entertaining. You need to check it out. A lot of them are funny as hell. They're just really cool. So make sure you check out Sirenscape's YouTube as well. But don't go there just yet. We're live right now. Stay right here. Let's play some Cyberpunk Red. <laughs> uh, Cyberpunk Red, right? This is our team weekly, and uh, they've been through a lot. I'm just going to do a, a mini recap because there's way too much to unpack within 10 seasons. If you can imagine, we've been doing this 10 seasons. It's, it's amazing to me. It's so it's so cool because it's the same yet, team. No movie. Not yet, not yet. We're working on it, but uh, we have, we have, we have to wait till Rush got to rank ten. Now we're waiting for the rest of you to get up to rank ten, and something should happen. It could be really crazy, but uh, but no. Uh, ultimately, the team uh, through hookups that they've made uh, out in a ghost town, rescuing one of their friends. They ended up rescuing an Arasaka operative that ru got Russian with Arasaka. He ended up in Tokyo. The rest of the team got out there. They got into a brain dance, they got brainwashed, and well, half of the team got brainwashed. They had to go into the hot zone and retrieve an engram. They use their hookups through Pacifica Confederation to deprogram, go back to Arasaka, leave a sort of Trojan horse engram in the system and really mess up Arasaka and try to escape. And they found that taking on Arasaka head on and trying to leave the building in that way was really bad. They uh, ended up just going through hell. I really recommend, even, even as I'm explaining this, check out those previous sessions because they were so intense. There's just so much action, so many different things that went down, leading all the way out to finally breaking out of the front through explosions and wrecking. The AV got shot down, wrecked into a, a sushi bar across the street. One by one, they were getting killed off, just trying to get away and survive. And there was just so many emotional moments. I literally cried and got teary-eyed. I, I, I know a few of you as well did. Um, we got lots of messages on chat and, and, and online just for how crazy of a session that was. Check out those VODs when you get a chance. However, uh, after everybody died, uh, they ended up waking up back in the brain dance from two seasons ago when they first went in the brain dance, the whole brainwash inauguration into Arasaka. And that's kind of where we're gonna where, where we're gonna start it off. So let's bring up some sounds. Uh, what I want to do first uh, before I before I kind of recap, I, I want to start with the end of the previous session, obviously. And before I kind of start that you all off, kill us again. Um, exactly. Let's uh, everyone roll up a new character. Uh, no. Oh. Let's uh, <laughs> let me uh, here. Let's bring up uh, Fantasy Grounds. Shout out to Fantasy Grounds. Corpo. Uh, <laughs> Uh, everybody give me a perception yeah, while, while, while we're chilling, and I bring up some Sirenscape sounds, and uh, oh, yeah, yeah, give me a perception. That's never gone well for us, has it? <laughs> Even when we roll well, the shit we're perceiving is awful. And here you go, and uh, yeah, as I said, all of you wake up in this brain dance, you see uh, Rush hooked up, everyone coming out of it and realizing that, you know, it's, it's, oh. it's not what That's you persuaded. initially thought, and, uh, you know, you didn't die, you basically came out of it. You see Anzu standing there with a couple guards. Um, you're in the whole brand dance room that you witnessed before. However, it, it's not exactly the same. Um, but uh, nonetheless, Anzu goes on to explain that you know he, he apologizes for such, uh, gruesome, uh, such a gruesome experience, but it was important to show you that even collectively, with all your ability and resource, uh, deviating from the loyalty to Arasaka never ends in your favor. But uh, welcome to the family. Um, I'm happy you're here. Enjoy your lounge. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll take you there now. Uh, you can freshen up, uh, reacquaint with your gear and such, and, and normal clothes. And uh, then I'll, I'll come uh, get you for the inauguration dinner and celebration. 
Um, and at that point, uh, you kind of like look around, you're, you're still kind of cloudy coming out of it. You're realizing, wow, everything that went down f for the past, whatever it's been, all this craziness from going all the way to the hot zone and coming back, Pacific, all this and dying. And it, it's all been a brain dance to kind of show you the power of Arasaka and just how deep you're in. And uh, just as you're realizing that, you also look around and, uh, you know, Bud, uh, Rush, Ali, all of you are, are, are noticing um oh wait no that was a persuasion i apologize um yeah no, what, did, I, what did you get hades <laughs> oh i missed it i'm sorry i'm um, so yeah i saw the the double up there from i, I realized you hit persuasion by accident i thought that was hades yeah. for a second but uh <laughs> but yeah uh, ali you're not noticing you're still kind of coming out of it and maybe maybe you're a little more emotionally drawn into the everything being a brain dance and being kind of fake because not only was all that experience but it also involved that sort of engagement to Hades and coming out with love for a friend and all that and now you're realizing that so you, like you're just kind of lost in your emotions as well as your thoughts and maybe that's why you're yeah. not noticing the room as much but uh absolutely bud and rush and uh and but and not Hades either and see that makes sense Hades is also kind of lost in her emotions because of all that it's more than just the thought of it being fake but but in rush you notice this room it's different uh there's actually uh, an elevator not a door um, there's numerous brain dance machines lined up beyond you, and there's actually other med techs on the other side of the room. It's a much larger room. It looks like they're working on somebody. There's some techs in the corner working on something else. Like, it's a pretty active room. But uh, but that's what you notice initially as Anzu finishes that sort of speech, welcoming you back and explaining things, and then uh, entering into the elevator with the guards and, and gesturing for you to enter. And it's a, a very large elevator um, as he gestures you in to uh, escort you to your lounge. Um, I, I kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of really angry at Anzu. Um, would anyone, what would, how would the rest of the team react if it looked like I was gonna, you don't, um, you don't know until leap at the guy? It, yeah. Well, just to, I kind of well, wanna, <laughs> well, to remind you one guy. thing though, cause you said lead with your gun or something. I think just to remind you, you don't have any weapons or anything on you. Uh, none of you right now. I, that's just okay. So you know. I just want to. I just want yeah. to suck him in the Yo, face. Oh, he has these weapons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted, <laughs> just wanted right. to let you know, yeah. Uh, overcome with emotion, I try to, to punch Anzu. Yeah. Does anyone stop me? I will try and stop you. I say, you I son of a... Okay, then, uh, and yeah, I'm punch Ali, you. yeah, Ali and Bud each do a, a brawling. Or if Bud's using martial arts, then uh, maybe Ali, I'll let you do brawling to try to grapple that attack. Or you can... Okay. I'll even take your evade if you want. Now, brawling makes more sense. You're going to try to grapple his attack. Yeah, I'm do brawling gra as a I'm, grapple. Because I'm not... Yeah. I'm not trying to, like, fight yeah. Bud. I'm trying to just stop him lunging Exactly. Forward, so... So, yeah, go for yeah, it. Grab. And this is going to be difficult. This is, like, so low. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. wow. Yeah. Yeah. What a time, <laughs> man. Bud rolls, Bud, Bud rolls a 20 there, but rolls a 20 like a solo, like laying out a, a brutal martial art blow towards Anzu. But Alley Cat's crit successes on that brawling. It must have been. It. And you know what? It makes sense because if we remember, I forgot to mention this in the recap, Ali was the only one that failed the resist torture and drug. She is currently the only one brainwashed. Even if everyone's playing along, they understand the severity of the situation, and no one knows. That each other is not brainwashed, you, you know. Mm. Bud only knows that he's not. Hades only knows that she's not. Rush only knows that he's not. But Ali knows that she's brainwashed and assumes the rest of them are. But when she sees Bud do this, it makes sense that she would put extra energy into trying to stop it because she's loyal to Arasaka. So this makes sense. Yeah, it's crazy. The dice are the dice are leaning into our our uh, gameplay here in an immersive way. It's really cool. How this is randomly kind of working out. But uh, yeah, Brud, you go to throw land the punch. Ali grapples it up. I'll let you kind of role play that out as Anzu just. She... Yeah, I think I literally like reach out and grab like Bud's jacket, maybe kind of from that momentum and like follow him around, and just like position myself between Bud and Anzu. Don't. That's the hell not you. Going to, that's not going to help, is it? Yeah, it'll make me feel better. You know what would make me feel better is not having lived through all of your deaths just a exactly. minute ago. Exactly. Exactly. And, and now do you understand why this guy deserves a sock in the face? If I have to babysit. So I don't live through that again. I will. Don't do this. 
And Zhu leans in. I, I, I apologize, uh, Bud, uh, uh, Finn, uh, please uh, excuse all of you. Uh, uh, I apologize for, for all of this. Like I said, I it, was a, uh, it was a necessary step, but we, we can move forward from here. Our team, if you want our skills, we have a price. You negotiate with our fixer. Don't play games with us. Note taken. Very well. I, I, I can respect that. Please, let's take me take take you to your lounge. You can tell he's nervous, and he starts sweating a little bit. And his, even as he gets in the <laughs> elevator, he's like eyeballing uh, Bud. He's just like you know, he's Did absolutely he see nervous. the brain? Did, were they watching what was happening in the brain dance? Because Anzu got totally killed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Did, yeah. you can only assume, you can brutal. only assume, yeah, oh yeah, you can only assume. I forgot assume. about that. Yeah, we did, like, we absolutely obliterated that guy. <laughs> Had our own rules, he shouldn't put her up. Oh, <laughs> Haiti spent a couple missiles trying to take out Anzu at one point, so Anzu knows, like, you know, spare no expense. <laughs> Out. Yeah, it's gone. but no, he's nervous. He's sweating. <laughs> um, and yet you, you enter uh, the elevator and during all this kind of chaotic moment, um, I would like uh, all four of you to give me a concentration check. Can we not go in an elevator? Do they have stairs? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, that's right. I kind of. I do love. I do love. I have to say, I'm a big fan of sleep gas elevators myself. Uh, concentration, it was. Yeah. Well, and they're yeah, in the okay, elevator with you. Fan. There's two guards and Anzu are in here with you. Um, but you enter, and you know he presses uh, uh, button thirteen. Um, let's see, concentration. Oh, good. Okay, Bud, Ali. Uh, yeah. Let me get. Okay, Rush. That's sixteen. Uh, Haiti. Okay, 16 perfect. Yeah, all four of you. Uh, this is good. All of you come in, uh, and Anzu, nervous and sweating. Look at him, and he presses a button thirteen. And you notice on the elevator uh, again, not like you re remember. Um, you're starting. You're starting to get the feeling. Um, you know, aside from things being cloudy, that, you know, your reality was a bit manipulated in the brain dance. And, and some memory is coming back uh, because you did enter this building and come down to this initially, but that brain dance has kind of coded over that with this false reality. And it's just odd because you're seeing the elevator buttons and it's no longer what it was before. You're seeing it goes, you're in a 20 story building. It goes 20 stories up. There's no zero, but it goes one up to 20 and then another one two, three, four, down to 20. It's, it's an odd setup, but it's like one, two, like sets of numbers. And he presses the, the bottom 13 and you're on a lower level. It looks like you're on like a 16 and it, it starts rising up. Um, Where the heck are we? Just a little bit odd. Again, is there the possibility of taking any stairs? Elevators have begun to make me nervous. It, it's... Per perfectly understandable, please. I I'm sure once uh, you acclimate uh, to your surroundings, things will be a, a little bit better. Please just uh, uh, bear with me. Uh, the elevator opens on that 13, and you're seeing it opens up in a sort of lobby in a hallway that extends the length of the building. But then there's another sort of hallway that goes to the right when you step out of the elevator, and it looks like it's some type of tube. You can actually see the city through this. Um, and as you uh, step through, uh, the sounds kind of change to city sounds. And you can, uh, you know, see that it's kind of going over to a secondary building. That there's actually a, um, you know, a second building that looks like it's about 40 or 50 stories up. Uh, you're leaving that 20-story one, and it, and it goes over. It enters into this other building, and then you see uh, he enters an elevator, and then presses a button, and you start going down um, a couple levels, and it opens up to a 16 opens up into another sort of little mini lobby, like open area and a hallway where he steps down a few doors, opening it to your lounge. Uh, please wait here. I'll, I'll come to uh, get you when we're ready for dinner. You can tell he's still nervous. He's stuttering. He's sweating a little bit. And you see in the lounge, it looks pretty much the same as your other lounge, except for the fact it's in reverse. Like on the one wall where you had the, 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 the weird screen <laughs> wall of uh, data port information. It's now on this side, that bar with the food on this side. Like it's just, just reversed. It's like a mirror image. It's just a bit odd. And uh, now it went from instead of hearing kind of city sounds in this uh, place, you're actually hearing uh, sort of like tech sounds and um, uh, like uh, even, even some combat sounds. Like you're almost hearing like... Uh, people practicing or fighting or something like that in the distance it's it, it's coming through the walls but you're not really hearing um a lot of like you know 
city sounds or normal sounds that you heard before when you were in the lounge in the memory of the uh, uh, brain dance. It's absolutely different. And you can hear people training on a different level or something, uh, some combat and things and some other tech sounds. But you just entered the lounge all in reverse. Sounds are going, everything's going. I'll hand over the mic and let the team enter the lounge together and kind of take it from here. I think um, when Ali asked Anzu about getting on the elevator and, or rather taking stairs instead, and that did not in fact happen, I think uh, whenever they would get on the second elevator, Hayes really hasn't said much, but she'll just kind of reach over and like hold Ali's hand. Um, yeah, I think Ali's hand is probably like shaking a little bit. So it's just like clamp, clamp on. Just kind of ride the elevator in silence. Yeah, I think uh, Hades would also just be kind of like, if you think almost like a little kid kind of stuck to a parent or something, if they're in a new space, kind of like that. Okay. Rush, well, what have you gotten us into? I'm sorry. Um, this is far over my head in I did not mean to get you guys into this. What do they I want? Mean, that whole exercise. Want... What? They want us to work for them, right? Well, I told them we have a price. What was this whole mind game? Two, two weeks in some kind of simulation. That's a waste of time. That's how powerful they are, I guess. I, I, I don't think there's any, you know, there is any way apart from forward. We do the job. When that job finishes, we do the next job. Um, can I tell if, uh, if from this conversation that Ali is is kind of a bit affected? Um, yeah, give Do me I need a, a human perception? Yeah, give me a human perception. I mean, I've perception. only just seen everyone die. Of course right. I'm going to be a bit... <laughs> right, right. But let's see, you know, but but it does make sense that the team all knows each other well enough that Bud should be able to do a human perception and tell, like, based on these conversations, you know, who who seems a little off, who doesn't, because every one of you, at least you three, not Allie, but you three, know that you're not. So I would assume all three of you would be running human perceptions on the other Three, you know my, what I mean. Yeah, can, it's not my fault. Can we roll? As well? <laughs> um, so what we need to oh, do no, here sorry, is we uh, have two plus twos from um, uh, uh, Stormwolf and the King Swift. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's get uh, Ali. Uh, you can decide here while Hades and Bud and Rush are kind of getting a read on you, if you want to do uh, acting, persuasion, stealth. I mean, because for you, it's real. So you're not really yeah. acting or persuading or being stealthy, but we have to do some type of contested thing here. And, um, mm. uh, you know, it could also, I would also take human perception on a sort of reverse, like you're just being you at this point, and they're seeing if they can yeah. read the real you. I like that too. Yeah, because I think it's not that she's trying to do exactly. Anything. Yeah, do a, do a contested it's human perception. That, I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Just like her in general. Hey, thanks, Bronx Smash. You guys got another uh, plus two there, by the way. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Bronx. Okay, so that was human perception. Yeah, everyone, uh, human perception. It's going to be contested to Allie. If you beat Allie, then you know that she's brainwashed. I mean, you already know you're not uh, Hades, Bud, and Rush. This is just to see if you can see through Allie. Whoops. <laughs> oh. You rolled well, one less than me and got two higher. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, would anyone be opposed if I take one of these in I'm taking it. Someone's going to figure out what's going on with Allie. I'm taking it. <laughs> No, I'm having Ooh. fun. I'm being fun and flirty. <laughs> I'm also going to use some of my luck. Yeah, Rush, <laughs> it goes to the Defender, unfortunately. So without any plus twos or luck, unless you want to use double the amount for a post edition, uh, you're not seeing through it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have fun here at Sirenscape, but the important <laughs> we thing just, we is just have to check here. on your friends when you think they've been brainwashed by a corporation. Please do, please do. Yo! <laughs> yeah. nice. Very nice. Uh, and, and again, it makes sense, you Can know, you uh, hate, all? exactly. Well, and Hades and Ali have a connection, right? Uh, you know, it, it was there prior to this fake brain dance thing, and then brain dance really just kind of brought it out regardless if it didn't happen in reality. So it makes sense that you read her very well. And you can see through, like, Hades, you know, you know you're not brainwashed. You're still not sure about Bud and Rush, but through this little conversation, uh, you can tell Ali's is brainwashed. 
no one else is picking up on it. If the tech hair and the uh, overall cha look costume change didn't uh, give it away. <laughs> I like the look too, by the way. Thank you. Uh, has, I, has I think... enough... Oh, I was going to say, has enough happened that Hades could try to see if she can pick anything up from uh, Bud and Rush? Uh, no, you know, you'd have to engage in, you know, a couple complete sentences and stuff. That's why you kind of had the opportunity with Allie and Bud. They kind of got into it just a little bit there. Um, it was enough to get I a I think read. you can probably... You can probably tell the the bot isn't in with Arasaka right I mean, now. I feel like that's yeah. pretty, pretty obvious. Yeah, in and, fact, and, uh, kind of angry. In fact, you could roll it. Uh, to pull a double bluff as you well. Could, yeah, uh, well, I'll yeah. say this. If you want to roll it against Bud, Bud was in that same conversation. You're trying to get a read on Allie, but let's just see if during that process let's of the this. same conversation, you're not picking up on Bud a bit, you know? Uh, well, well, I think the result of his convers frustrating conversation with Allie is that he, like... Throws a plate of the food from the, yeah. from the bar, like against against the wall. Yeah, but, so. but but they can also kind of read into you throwing the punch at Anzu and throwing that, like at frustration yeah, over yeah. the situation. Maybe not so much not being yeah, brainwashed because you know you're a little heated and you're the solo. You know you're not. You might maybe get physical uh, for a moment. But let's just see here. Uh, hey, nice. Uh, did anybody? Everyone else needs to roll that. That's trying to uh, rush an alley. You want to give that and Bud okay. uh, for your contested. Uh, yeah, you want me to do another one? Absolutely, yeah. Yours, we kind of we'll consider that first round uh, towards Ali. Let's do this one towards Bud, since you're in that same conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, uh, just just twelve. You Hades, something. you can tell. Hades, yeah, you, no. Hades. So far, you can tell. Uh, oh, Bud is not brainwashed. Um, you can tell Ali is. Uh, no one else is getting a read I, on anyone else yet. Oh, there it is. There's human perception. You can it's tell because of the way he's furiously smoking a cigarette right now. Yeah, he's like really Ooh, Allie. angrily smoking it. Ali, yeah, you can tell. Ooh. You can tell Bud's not brainwashed right oh now. She can tell everything about him right now. Yeah, that was an incredible critical success. Yeah, human perception of twenty-eight. Yeah, you can tell he's more than just pissed off at the situation. That, you know, he's just he's not really loyal to Arasaka. I think I'm just gonna I, be frank here. We all lived through, what was it? Two weeks, more? And we know how it ends. If we try and take the exact same route of non-compliance, that's where it ends, in a hail of bullets. If you care about your friends, bud, then you will not act against them. Uh, he doesn't say anything. Suddenly the door opens. Uh, right, at, right, ironically, right at the end of that sentence in a little dead space, everyone, you know, I imagine Rush Hades kind of getting a feel for this awkward moment where, you know, you didn't, uh, especially Rush, who didn't get a read uh, picking up on anyone and Bud didn't really pick up on it. Hades is kind of seeing what's going on here because she sees through both Bud and Rush, or I mean Ali, the whole brainwash situation. Um, but it's a little awkward no matter what, whether you know the brainwash or not, you know there's a bit of tension right here. And just in that moment of silence, the door opens as Anzu steps back in. You see the two guards there again and he says, okay, uh, I can escort you to dinner. Are we ready to go? I think we are. Thank you, Anzu. Very well. Uh, he turns and escorts you to the elevator um, where you pretty much get in and take it all the way up. Uh, it ends up going up uh, a bunch of floors. You end up on like a 22nd floor of this 40 store building. Um, and yeah, uh, the, the sounds drastically change uh, from this combat as you pass sort of tech sounds. Um, different. Uh, well, hold on. I think we're going to get kicked with some music here for a second. Let me kill all that for us um and yeah uh you basically notice that all those tech sounds the combat sounds like as the elevator's going you can hear them like you're hitting different floors of different things going on it's much different than than you experienced in the brain dance this building is uh, way more diverse than you thought but as you get up kind of the 20th floor 22nd floor uh it opens up 
uh, to a really long hallway, no sort of lounge, um, but these big double doors, all with elaborate sort of plating and emblems carved into the doors. Um, and they're all open, and as you go in, you can see across on one side a sort of office with like a big desk and big uh, overlook of the city. And on the other side, where Anzu uh, gestures you in, you see uh, the sort of ceremonial dinner hall. And it looks pretty much like it did in the brain dance. So you're back in this. Uh, ceremonial dinner. There's a bunch of execs all sitting at the table. You can see four seats available down towards the end. You see uh, Mr. Yardinobu standing at the end. He has a couple Arasaka uh, operatives next to him. There's a couple Arasaka guards at the end aside from the two that come in with Anzu. And then you notice uh, in the corner standing there that sort of uh, mini Atom Smasher, the sort of fun size Atom Smasher that you that you got to meet uh, during the brain dance. And he's just kind of standing in the corner like this and it's kind of the hawk faction Arasaka's version of Atom Smasher, right? It's their crazy borged out security, but he's in this room. Um, but there's the elaborate sort of uh, crystal-like chandeliers with neons glowing from them, the light walls kind of sh showing patterns of, you know, dragons and parade sort of uh, emblems from traditional Japanese sort of imagery. Uh, there's traditional music kind of playing, can't tell where it's coming from, but uh, when all of you enter and Anzu steps aside with the guards to gesture for you uh, to take the four seats, uh, Mr. Yorinobu stands up, all the other execs stand up, and they all just kind of nod their head towards you as Anzu gestures towards the seats. Hades will go and sit. An alley Russian butt. Go on. I will give a bow and go take my place. Oh, um, roll. My eyes roll when I see that. <laughs> and then I'll go and sit down. There's not much I can do about that. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are gonna. <laughs> oh no, Ellen! I'm, I'm, I'm me. I'm angry at you personally. For, me? For this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to separate fact and fiction. Sorry. Oh, okay. So you <laughs> yeah. feel like angry at me, Ellen? Yeah, I'm angry at you. Okay. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Alley is still cool. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> no, no, yeah. He sees you do the bow. His eyes are rolled back of his head, and he he sits down. Is he passing out? <laughs> about Rush. Yeah, Rush will do a bow and uh he hesitates a little when he does it but uh he'll go and sit down as well yeah once you once all four of you take your seats uh the rest of the execs everyone sits uh mr yodinobi sits down uh and he, and he kind of leans forward and says i i i know that enzu has explained to you uh the the situation and what we had to do i i truly do apologize for putting you through such a fiasco but it was absolutely necessary to explain in, uh, what kind of dilemma you would be in if loyalty would ever falter from plans and I think we're uh, in an understanding now and loyalty is in place and we respect you for getting through this and joining us on the other side and you'll be well rewarded I, I, I all respect to you thank you and he bows once again and all the other execs kind of bow their head to you too I'm gonna put my feet on the table Bye. What? What are they going to do? Kill us? I think, as we've seen, they can do much worse. So get your freaking feet off the table. Make me. Okay. I want to sweep Bud's legs back off the table. <laughs> Nice. What do you want to use? You want to do a grapple or do you want to uh, actually like do like a martial <laughs> arts move or something? How are you getting his feet off? <laughs> um, and while I you guys... I'm being yeah. such a petulant child. Oh, what was that, Allie? You, are. you really are. What are you gonna use? Um, Allie? I uh, can I use my evasion? Because it's literally just. Um, like no, I would rather take uh, you know martial side. arts or Holy brawling. Yeah. Okay. You know, it depends and on I'll if you. I'll use my evasion. Yeah, you would have to use your evasion. Nice. And, and while you do that, while you engage in that little banter and Ali tries to sweep your foot off and absolutely like sweeps your leg off and it falls down and even knocks down a couple of glasses. You see a couple assistants kind of come in that you didn't even notice in the corner of the other side of the room and they come up right away and gathering the dishes, snapping two more come in. They, they're resetting the plate with new dishes and things and all the execs kind of look a little confused and look at each other. They kind of couple whisper to each other and Mr. Yorinobu says, please, uh, is, is there a problem right now? No, no problem. Okay. We uh, just 
just not accustomed to uh, proper dinnerware and uh, dining. Oh, okay. We have to remind each other sometimes. Yeah, I'm just some schlub from Night City. Apologies. What's Hades and Rush doing during all this? Hades is kind of taking stock of the entire room. Um, she is paying a lot of attention to everything. Right, yeah, give me a perception. What's Rush doing? Rush is shooting finger guns over at uh, Mini Adam Smasher. Basically, <laughs> I is... saw you die. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Uh, Just replaying he... that image in his head over and over. He again. looks. He looks <laughs> over at you, and as you do that, he. He just nods, doesn't doesn't crack a smile or anything, doesn't seem entertained, but he does take notice Fun to you room. and just nods. Um, and Hades, yeah, just looking over the room, it's as I described earlier. Um, you don't notice much else except now you do notice there are, like on the other end of the room where you entered and kind of turned towards a table, all the way at this end where it extends a bit longer than was in the brain dance, uh, now being in the actual room. Uh, you see it extends a bit farther and there's a whole row of like, uh, service uh, people, uh, you know, they're they're in kind of like waiter outfits. Some have like the the uh, draper drapage over their arms with like uh, plates and trays and other uh, dishes on trays. You see like a little server drone there with it looks like some appetizers and meals that others are kind of organizing. And you see a door behind them, um, and as one opens it and comes in, it leads to some kitchen uh, that looks like it even goes the length of the building. It's it's pretty crazy how elaborate this is. Um, and how there's a whole uh, restaurant going on be beyond those doors, it would appear. Um, but just at, at that moment, uh, you know, they're organizing that, and Mr. Y Yorinobu stands up and waves his hands, and the lights kind of change. They take kind of like a dark blue, a purplish hue, almost like a violet, and uh, the traditional music kind of takes a more, I don't know, a more modern tech sort of vibe and it's similar to when they were doing that sort of entertaining dance and music thing that you went through in the brain dance as that starts you see performers kind of coming in a row and split around the table and you know doing this sort of traditional dance in this garb with fans and just uh, elaborate wares and it's all uh, almost a bit of a blur you're still kind of coming out of the brain dance in between the lighting and just how fast all this is happening and it's a bit of a repeat but a bit different uh, but all that's going on, the dancing, the performance, and, and all that for a moment, while uh, all the execs, everyone just seemed to be enjoying it. They're all just kind of nodding their head to the music and checking out the dancers. What are you four doing? Can I uh -oh. try a stealth roll, please? Sure. What are you doing? I'd like to go talk to um, Mr. Yorinu Mr. Yorinobu. Sure, yeah. Uh, you want to try to go and, and sneak over and talk to Mr. Yorinobu. Who are you trying to avoid seeing you go over to talk to him? Oh, my friends. <laughs> okay, yeah. Give me a stealth and uh, Hades, Ru Rush, and Bud. Uh, give me a perception if you see uh, Ali <laughs> trying to make her way over. Okay. And then, and then. Responsible for my actions this season. Yeah. It's only a 14. Ooh. Only a 14. Yeah, Rush notices. Rush sees. Uh, Hades doesn't notice. <laughs> uh, Bud Rush definitely sees. notices. Yeah, and you can only assume, uh, you know, at this point, Hades would be the only one that knows that Ali's is. But Bud would assume everyone else is brainwashed. Ru Rush would assume everyone else but him is brainwashed. M maybe catching a little hints at Bud, but still hasn't figured it out, obviously. Um, but, you can, but both of you know that you're not, and you assume Ali is, and both of you see her kind of looking around, almost doing her alley cats thing, doing that stealthy stuff where she's looking one way, but kind of moving another way. You see her kind of making her move. What do you two do? Can he? Hades is watching the dancing. <laughs> I'm going to let Rush handle this, yeah. What are you uh, off to do there? Well, I just want to find out the... Oh, oh my god, sorry, I slipped into a whole different, different accent there. I just want to find out the terms of our contract, that's all. Oh, I think we'll all find that out at the same time. Don't you? Can I... Yes. Can I be frank with you? Certainly. I will do whatever it takes to make sure Hades doesn't die in my arms again. And if that means 
calling this building my home for the remainder of my life, I will fight tooth and nail. And not only that, I don't want to see you and Bud lying in the gutter, bleeding. I truly want what is best for all of us. And right now, Bud is a liability. So what are you going to do about that right now? Well, I think he just needs another pass through the brain dance. Otherwise, he's going to be acting erratically. He's going to be jeopardizing our safety and his own. I don't think you're thinking clearly. Are you? Oh, of course I am. I've got clarity beyond what I've had for weeks. For what feels like a year. Look, I've been through a lot here too. I've been through a lot here too. And I want you to understand that I'm finally seeing clearer than ever before. This situation is not what it seems to be. When they're done with us, they're done with us, do you understand? Loyalty and no. We have to make sure that we're not done. We keep on moving. We prove ourselves valuable. You weren't the last to die, Rush. I was. I can't argue with that. So then we're not arguing, right? Not arguing. Okay, well then, I just need to have a quick chat with Mr. Yarinobu. You can put me back in that machine over my dead body, by the way. You're not as okay. sly as you think you are, Allie. But... Maybe. Yeah, and before Allie responds, you know, because this conversation has been going on a while with Rush, and then now Bud chimed in. I would like Rush and, uh, you know, Allie. Let, let's do a contested human perception here now. You guys have engaged direct. Uh, but this also gives you another chance to kind of get a read on Allie and on Rush. Uh, and let's just do one, and we'll just contest all three in both directions. So Rush, Allie, Bud, all three of you give me a human perception. Uh, okay, Rush. Should have been watching the dance. Rush got a, a 12. Bud got a 19. Nice. So, Bud, you can tell Rush is like you. He's not brainwashed. You can see that clearly. So uh, hard for me to find human perception. It's so much further down. Yeah, it's, it's way down in the social skills, all the way down at the bottom of the list of skills there on Fantasy Grounds. Um, but, yeah, Bud, at least uh, now okay. you know uh, right. Rush is with you. He's not brainwashed, but you can tell he's kind of playing oh, along. It's not right. You can tell, but you can tell he's kind of playing along. He's playing it cool, right? Um, Allie, you can, you can tell that Rush is not brainwashed now. He's like Bud. Um, you can absolutely see that now. And uh, Rush, you know, you at, at this point, even though you're kind of failing, you can only assume that Ali is, especially with these conversations. I'm not going to take that from the role play just because of dice. So let's say you now know that Ali is full on brainwashed. You, you know she's not being her. But Ali now knows that you're like Bud, not brainwashed. And Bud now knows that Rush is not and Ali is. Hades is still watching all the dancing and stuff. But I'll hand the mic back over as uh, Bud just kind of interjected now with, uh, you know, you'll put me through a brain dance one more time over my dead body. Well, how does Ali respond? I'd, I'm not trying to do this because I don't care about you. You're I trying to do to this. They're trying to do this because they got into your head again. Do you not remember? We went through this. We undid this. In the I simulation. Believe, I don't, I don't want to have I... to go through this again with you, Allie. Would you just snap out of it? Brainwashed or no? I don't even know that I care anymore. Because I can't distinguish what's real and what's fake. I saw you all die, and I don't want to ever see that again. Well, if if licking Yarnobu's boots uh, makes you feel better, then you know, be my guest. Yeah, 
Yeah, and uh, suddenly, uh, just at the end of that conversation, and Allie looks like she's hanging on a word, about to respond, and things are heated. Rush, you're witnessing this. You know, you're kind of coming to light of who's not brainwashed, who is brainwashed. Hades, uh, so far with you, you, you only know Allie is. Uh, you know yourself is not. But during this, this moment, Hades, you see the dancers kind of filing out of the room now as the lighting somewhat goes back to normal and the music kind of goes back more traditional. And then uh, Mr. Yorinobu stands up and gestures. And now you see Mr. Yinsha enter with a couple more Arasaka operatives. Um, there's a couple servants behind him. It looks like uh, one has a serving tray with a bunch of like shot glasses and some type of weird clay bottle with emblems carved into it some old like it looks ancient or something but kind of comes in and they're placing shot glasses in front of each of the four of you uh mr yinshaw comes in and bows and looks towards you rush and says a, -a, a job well done i'm glad to see you on the other end and uh, we'll be speaking of uh, the next mission as soon as dinner is done please uh, enjoy the ceremony and we'll meet in my office across the hall when you're done yeah certainly uh, he bows down and steps off and you see him leave the room um, and then you see the other servant kind of take the uh, old clay bottle looking thing and kind of pouring into the shot glasses as you see it slightly steam you catch a, a slight herbal smell you can tell it's kind of a warmed sake uh, sort of thing but all four of you give me a perception um, as they're pouring that for you. Uh should I bother, or should I just take a drink? I think you would probably, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you can check it out. Yeah. <laughs> I think you would look at it, like you know, but how you would act would Hades. be driven by your current situation. Uh, 18. And, you know. Yeah. Um, you know what? Just I'll just drink it. <laughs> oh, there goes your critical thinking uh, skills. <laughs> there are many tears to the, the psychological um, damage well, yeah, that I'm Allie, having to play right now. Yeah, as Hades and Bud and Rush, you see it kind of steam. You catch the kind of herbal smell. You can tell it's warmed sake. Uh, you three, as you're just kind of looking at the liquid and uh, Mr. Yorinobu kind of nods and, and raises his hand, uh, you see Ali quickly just pick up the shot glass and nod and, and cheers it and take <sighs> the shot. Um, as you three notice, uh, as you kind of pick it up and look at it, um, yeah, it's a shot of sake. You've seen this before. You know, you drink multiple liquors. It's, it's warmed. It smells good as an herbal sort of thing. But you do notice... There is a slight, like, I don't know, like a little trail of a metallic shimmer in it. Almost like if you've seen oil on water, it almost has like a slight shimmer of metallic that, that you three kind of catch while looking at it. Um, and it's very subtle, very subtle. All of you had some great perception moments there, probably under this stressful situation. You know, it's important to notice everything and you have heightened uh, senses. But all three of you notice that as Ali takes the shot and Mr. Yori Nobu kind of gestures. And so you three. Um, as soon as Ali does... Hades um, lifts it up as if she's going to uh, normally, but then she her hand starts shaking and she like kind of not flings it, but she it like she shake accidentally drops it. What's Bud in Rush doing? Hey Bud, I think there's something in mine. How, how does yours look? Yeah, I don't know. Looks tainted somehow. Wow, I can't believe Arasaka would service tainted booze. How loud did you say that? <laughs> uh, loud enough? <laughs> what, did, what does uh, Russian bud uh, say? What did you say loud enough? Uh, the, I can't believe that Arasaka would serve us tainted booze. You know what? Suddenly I'm really not thirsty. In fact, I think I, think I might swear off alcohol altogether. I'm sure you guys understand. And as you say that in Hades, as you drop that and, and Rush reacts, um, Ali just kind of giving dirty looks like, uh, yeah, just drink it. Uh, Hades, a, a couple servants from behind instantly like swoop in, cleaning up what you dropped and putting down another shot glass, pouring another one and, and gesturing it towards you as Mr. Yorinobu stands up. Um, you see the two Arasaka operatives stand up. You even see that mini Adam Smasher kind of. You know, stand up a little more straight as uh, Mr. Yorinobu says, I, I, I understand that, but, but please, uh, this is a uh, traditional ceremony. I would expect everyone to follow suit of, of alley cats, please. Um, and then I he looks towards you, Rush, uh, giving you an interested look, you know, knowing that you've kind of led the way of this. Uh, as soon as Hades would have dropped hers and it comes back over, she um, would kind of to Mr. Yorinobu, um, 
my apologies. I was just very nervous with everything going on. I'm sure you understand. Um, and then she's pretty much as if normal, she's gonna toss it in her mouth <laughs> and drink it. Um, and then she is going to like immediately stand up. I have a very small bladder. Where's the restroom? Oh, very well. Uh, he gestures. You see one of the uh, assistants that was sitting next to Mr. Renner. We stand up and come towards you and gesture. Then Anzu steps into the room uh, uh, right here, end of, end of the hall. I can escort you. Um, and goes to Thank take you, Hades. You. And one thing you notice when you pop that in your mouth and took it down is, yeah, it was warm sake. It had that sort of herbal taste with that um, sort of uh, slight vaporish uh, liquor uh, to it, uh, obviously being sake and being what it is, but it definitely had a sort of sharp metallic taste, uh, just ever so slight. Um, but you saw it, you can taste it, you know it had something in it. Absolutely ha had something in it. But uh, yeah, you swallow it in, you takes you out of the room and starts walking down the hall. You can see uh, down on the side where the elevator is, um, you can see some bathrooms. You see uh, Mr. Yin Shaw across the hall as those doors are open at his desk. You see a couple servants. Looks like he's messing with some paperwork at his desk. He looks up and just nods at you, goes back working. Um, as Anzu's taking you down the hall. Um, what's uh, Russian Bud doing at this point? Oh, please, it's tradition. What are you gonna do? I'm kind of, I'm kind of waiting to see what you would, you do. Oh man, I'm assuming it's another tracker. I'm just gonna drink it. I'm gonna hate doing it. I'm gonna hate myself for doing it, but I'm gonna do it. Nice. Yeah, you drink it. Uh... Same thing. Uh, you taste it, slight, sharp, metallic, a uh, little bitter uh, hit to your tongue as you take it down. What does Bud do as you see him taking it? You're an Ogusan. I have had just about my fill of these games. What's in this? It is just a bit of insurance, perfectly normal for our operations. No, 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 no euphemisms. No, it's insurance. What is it? If you are gonna uh, uh, have our loyalty and our respect, then please respect us enough to be clear and uh, upfront with us. What have you put in our drinks? It, it would seem that you don't understand the insurance that we have in place in this, and I will express this at this moment, but maybe you would require a different form of insurance. Uh, he touches his wrist and you see it kind of light up as there's a sort of a, a inlay um, control that's embedded in his arm and his cyber arm and he kicks and it lights up and uh, Rush, Ali, um, Hades, all three of you, you feel uh, and you know being edge runners you're absolutely familiar with uh, nanites and like when they heal and you've taken things like that you feel that very subtle under the skin uh, pins and needles feeling um, and it kind of conjugates uh, at the base of your brain at the back of your neck you feel the hair kind of stand up as instantly you feel like just like a quick pop of a shock and uh, all three of you are rendered unconscious um you basically see ali and rush slump down unconscious uh, out in the hallway hades out of nowhere as you're walking to the bathroom you just kind of go unconscious as andrew kind of catches you down and looks a bit confused as things go black and bud you see them kind of go down um as the arasaka operatives take a step up and the mini atom smasher also steps up and uh mr yarinobu says as you see it's a bit of insurance please but is is there a, an issue here everyone else seems to be perfectly fine with the inauguration are you feeling okay i'm feeling fine i just wish our relationship to be based on openness i also am am kind of strict about what I put into my body. As you know, my profession is, uh, you know, my body is my instrument. I'm oh, sorry, I'm laughing about that uh, just as as Rob Mulligan, not as the GM right now, or as it Mr. <laughs> Yori Nobu or Yinshari. That was funny. I liked that, my body. I mean, he eat at a diner every freaking day. <laughs> his body is a temple. He only eats plant-based. I think you. Foods. I think I have seen you eat kibble, young man. Uh, no, but yeah, he looks. A, he he looks a little bit confused. I wasn't talking about food. I'm talking about cybernetics. Yeah, no, he he looks a little bit confused, and he uh, he just says, uh, "Bud, if there is an issue, maybe we need to uh, go through the process once more to make sure that your understanding of the situation is no, perfectly clear." No, no, that is fine. Uh, and I guess as they loom over me with the, you know, with the, the Adam Smasher and their operatives, uh, I guess I don't really have much choice. 
Um, but at least I know what I'm putting in my body now, and I'll 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 drink the shot. Um, yeah, you take it. It's got, you know, again that that sharp metallic sort of taste as it kind of sets in, and as it sets in, you see uh, Mr. Yorinobu kind of uh, gesture his arm as Ali and Rush. You come back to uh, it feels to you like you pretty much just blinked. Uh, you don't even really realize that you were out. It was like a system shut off. Uh, to your consciousness, but it's just like you blinked. You're back. Uh, you just noticed Bud took his shot. Uh, Hades, all of a sudden, it's like you blinked, but all of a sudden, Anzu's holding you, and he's just like, oh, you're back. Oh, okay. But it's a bit confusing that all of a sudden you blinked, and Anzu's holding you out in the hallway. How does Hades react to that? Kitten, I feel like she would have experienced passing out before <laughs> just because of all the brain stuff that she does so i don't know that would be a new experience for her um, <laughs> just like being black eyes right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> i've had this before no um <clears throat> well i was on the way to the bathroom gonna see if she could if there was possible to do something with the toxic binders to try and like alleviate some of the effects of these new friends to my body. Um. Yeah, there, it, yeah, it's not really able to, being that these are nanites and not really like a toxin. Um, yeah, these are more like quick acting nanites, uh, acting very similar to you know speed heal and stuff like that, um, going uh, right to whatever source they were programmed to go to and do what they do. You know. Yeah, but I think otherwise she she would know what happened. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, and so yeah, take, uh, escorts you to the bathroom as you go in there and just have a moment with your thoughts. And you know, you you blinked out, but you have that distinct feeling. Like I said, the hair sitting up on the back of the neck, that sort of under skin, subtle pins and needles. You being an edge runner, you've taken speed heal, you've dealt with nanites, you know that that it's something like that. Um, but back to the room, uh, bud. You take that. You have that same sort of bitter taste. Rush alley. Uh, you wake up. It's as if you just blinked. Uh, you see bud taking the shot. Uh, what are you two doing? I think I'd like lean in towards Bud and say thank you. This isn't gonna be easy, but I think we've all seen what happens when we don't play ball. I didn't do it for you. I'm gonna fix this. I don't know how yet, but I'm gonna fix this. Let's take our five minute bio break right there uh, in this uh, deep moment of, uh, yeah, it's, it feel, feels a little dark, but let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, don't anyone go anywhere in chat. Quick five minute bio break. I'm gonna leave the mics hot. We'll be right back. Oh no. Yeah, I'm twisting my arm. Oh, I feel so oh, bad. No. Oh, I'm doing Sorry, everything I can man. to like, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to sort of wriggle out, but I can't. Yeah, I'm not oh. helping as well. <laughs> they, they got us. I'm sorry. I was like, like when the idea came of like, you know that Bud's not brainwashed. You need to like brainwash him. I was like, that's so freaking evil. <laughs> well, it's not evil, but like, you know, to do it as a, to make the choice as a player, as opposed to mm. just like. You know, it makes sense as the character, but like as the player, I was like, <laughs> even even trying to attempt this feels awful. I'm sorry, I'm being such a baby. <laughs> but it's not doesn't know how to deal with his emotions. <laughs> oh man, what is it? Uh, uh, <laughs> someone says, "Mom and Dad are fighting again." <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of our seasons have had that feel about them. <laughs> Especially recently. Yeah. GM induced anxiety in game is the goal. <laughs> oh, this feels terrible. This feels terrible, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I don't know oh. how we're going to get out of it. And I have no, uh, my intention is not to. Yeah, at the moment, right yeah. Right now. Yeah, right now I'm playing to win with the cards that I've got, which is how do I stop my friends from dying again? Oh, I know. I'm making sure they don't do any of this crap. 
Make sure we don't, we don't piss off mommy and daddy Arasaka. Yes. <laughs> uh, how are you feeling? Cornered. Uh, yeah, cornered, yeah. 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 <laughs> mm. This is rough. Oh, yeah. Sure is. Sure is. Rob doesn't, doesn't go easy on us. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like after. Have... Yeah, go on. We don't have any of our gear or anything to. No. You know. No, they've taken our weapons. I mean, I got a cyber snake. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> uh, I got wolvers, but they're not going to do a whole lot. Nah. I have karate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, it's just crane kick. It works in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. My feet are like spears. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this would be. Uh, we've only had a chance to use karate, like once before, right? Um, I've I've when I've, we were naked in I've the done a bit of punching on. Yeah, I definitely used it there. I've used it a few times here and there. Yeah, it's. I've like used it to break legs and stuff a couple times. Yeah, you can't have a player with like martial arts and then not take all their weapons from them so that they can <laughs> yeah that's, that's right <laughs> so they can show it off <laughs> all right i've got to i got to go to the toilet yeah rufio thinks think thinks think I should... about my decisions for a minute <laughs> <laughs> i should karate chop my way through all of arasaka tower <laughs> Oh man, yeah, like going from like the trauma of the previous session to like still being like stuck. Yeah. It's really frustrating. <laughs> yeah, just being under Arasaka's boot heel and knowing that there's no obvious way out. Uh, mm. Not having the, so the patience to be able to endure it. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, Bud certainly has has a lack of patience generally, and like having gone through like <laughs> having having his friends brainwashed already and having to like cope with that already, I think he's he's kind of run out of patience now. But oh, yeah. you know, that's the fi that's that's the right feeling for dealing with Arasaka, right? Is that they're this they monolithic, they're huge. And we're just, you know, four edge runners. Yeah. Yeah. Not even ants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's rough. I just want to go home to my apartment and play elf lines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just flicking through the... Uh... <laughs> the chat now. <laughs> it's getting real nihilistic in here. <laughs> you, uh, what is it? It's cyberpunk, they'll be dead in a few years anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, that's, dear. That's true. Why, why, <laughs> why prolong the inevitable here, huh? Oh, it's actually, it's also cyberpunk red, you know? There's hope. <laughs> Run away from yeah, me. but you've seen what the city turns into in 77. <laughs> yeah, How do I, happy or or do I not like open world games? <laughs> <laughs> so I have not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll, everyone. I'll tell you. Open world games it's, just aren't for me. It's bad again. <laughs> Corporations rule everything. Arasaka, get back into Night City. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, wah, well, wah, wah. Uh, not, not my bad? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, not these characters' problem. We'll, we'll be long dead by 77. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe long that's dead by a few days from now. Yeah, that's right. Who said, who as long as we get drinks at the afterlife named after us. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes, I, I absolutely want that. Who makes the cocktails? Is it um, 
Oh, who made the Johnny Silver? Uh, what's... Uh, d um... How to drink. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah, can we convince him to uh, make some... <laughs> make, make some, some uh, Team Sirenscape Marvel? ones, yeah. Yeah! yeah. Yeah, he improved okay. he improved the Johnny Silverhand from what it was in the preview and they updated it to match. Oh, that's what cool. What was the crazy cool. thing that he added on the rim? Was it like it wasn't Synth Doritos Coke? dust, but it was something crazy. Synth Coke? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> about right to me. All right, we ready it to go like, back? Yeah. Oh, no. No. Yes. No. <laughs> oh. no. <laughs> All right, we're back. Now everyone can see. Now everyone chilly, can see it's us. Chilly. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I I know it feels dark. Just stick with it. Stick with it. There there just might be light at the end of this tunnel. Who knows? We don't know. Um, that light just might be a new character. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Um, got to got to do something when you when you start getting up to rank ten. Um, now your enemy is Arasaka. It's no longer like one person. It's like a whole. <laughs> Oh, that's it. it's my fault, guys. I I did this to us. You did it. You did it. You hit ten. I was like, all right, we're going brutal. Uh, no. Okay. Back to the room. Ultimately, yeah, Hades. Uh, you have that moment in the bathroom where you you know you come to realization of what's what's up. You've got these nanites in you. They seem to be at the base of your neck. Somehow did something. Anzu was holding you. Obviously, you were out for a second or something. You're not quite sure, but uh, you spend some time thinking about that. Make your way back. Anzu uh, escorts you back to the room where you see. They're in you. And uh, you come back to the, the dinner hall. You see Rush, Allie, and Bud there just as other servants kind of come out from the back with plates of food, with a server drone kind of putting out full meals. Appetizers are kind of dressing the table and serving individual plates to everyone as you're going through this multiple uh, course meal. Um, and just kind of going through uh, similar to what you went through in the brain dance, a sort of nice dinner uh, with your new family. Um, but I'll allow you four to sit there and eat as other corps are kind of talking to each other and themselves. You see Mr. Yorinobu talking to some assistants next to him as they leave. They go get Mr. Yinshaw. He comes back in and they start talking a bit. Yinshaw leaves. Seems like everyone's kind of eating, but talking business or socializing, doing their own thing. Uh, what are you four doing while you eat? I'll let you, if you're going to chat with each other a little bit, you can. I mean, what is there to say right now? We just lived for a month in a brain dance. Yeah, it all feels painfully familiar. I'm assuming everybody not... else uh, passed out too? Oh what? yeah, while you were under, I, uh, I got Yarinobu to... Uh, Tell exactly what his insurance scheme entailed. It's nanites. He can knock us out at the press of a button on his cyber arm. Did you expect anything different? From these guys? I did not. When did this happen? I, I, did I miss something? Uh, yeah. You, uh, you took that shot. And you remember me kicking up a fuss? And then I was sitting down? Huh. Straight afterwards? Yeah, that little chunk of time is of missing. Anything, have you? Me? <laughs> no, she's saying that to Rush. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that he has not passed out before. Yeah. N no. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just reach out and pats him. <laughs> uh, thank you. It can be a bit scary, but we're all here together. And I guess we just, like I said, do the job so that we can all stay healthy and happy and yeah. Oh yeah, I'm so happy right now, Allie. Well, you know, we've all just got to get used to it, right? Suck it up. Everyone does like, crap that they don't want to do. At least the food is good. Yeah. yeah, is this better than it was in the brain dance? Cause, uh... 
Yeah, it's like. a weird detail for them to make worse in the brain dance. You're starting to remember that in the brain dance, no matter what you ate, you're, all of a sudden you remember it wasn't as good as you thought in the moment. It kind of all tasted like chicken. They didn't really get it right. <laughs> so it's like actually remembering a meal that you ate. Right. <laughs> Have a little Matrix moment. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is all different, isn't it? This room, the elevator. The other room was backwards. The building. It was backwards. Backwards. And the sounds down the... on the different floors... That sounds different too, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like they've got some sort of barring, maybe a big old gym or where they train their well, combatants. They're a massive security firm, so they gotta train people somewhere. I don't know why they would make it different in the brain dance, though. Well, disorient us in case we come out and try to escape. Well, adding That's more good details point. takes a lot more programming and it's more expensive. Details that we wouldn't really notice in the moment. Mm. The, so um, we can tell that this is real because of the details? No. I mean, oh. <laughs> outside of this, there could be even more details. Who knows? Oh, that's a sobering thought. <laughs> Is there any way to tell? You know, I mean, Arasaka can do brain dances that are full worlds. I'm only working at a fraction of that capacity. Is there any way to tell if any of this is real? I'm not gonna wake up back in a tube, or... I don't... I don't know. You got the most experience with brain dance out of any of us, so... You tell me. <laughs> I mean... Not like this. I'm making them and shipping them out. <laughs> I'm not living in them. Not yeah, I mean, I I hear they have, uh, you know, there's rumors they got this gigantic uh, server computer with people's brains saved on it. Now, I don't know if that's just some... Huh? <laughs> Say more. Uh, it's just a rumor, you know, one of those urban legends about Arasaka. They got... Uh, the biggest server. With brains on them. Yeah. Yeah, didn't you didn't you didn't you go in there on on uh on our little simulation? Yeah, Hades now would re what you're talking about. Yeah, Hades, Hades would remember now at least uh <laughs> you know, go in, in the brain dance going into the system and having to go into the you know, the hallway with hundreds of rooms and you had to go into the one to meet the engram to try to get him out, like at least in the in the brain dance in their simulation, they had that. Yeah. She's still gonna say, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> okay, uh, like I said, it's just a rumor. Anyway, people say all sorts of things about Arasaka. They do, but that shouldn't affect us, right? Well, I'm just saying if they're capable of creating a simulation that we can't. Uh, distinguish from an experience, you know, that will react to us it isn't just a passive brain dance, then maybe they can create a whole realistic world that we're still inside of. Have they told us have. what our job is going to be yet? While I was in the bathroom? They did no. not. Oh, that comes later. We don't sure. have to assassinate that lady again. I mean, well, I guess that we part did, was... The, that was ran kind of... pretty smoothly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. It's just just boring to do the same thing again. That, that part yeah. was uh, kind of fun. Uh, <laughs> I thought so. 
Well, Ellie's plan was pretty cool, I have to say. Uh, uh, kind of evil, but pretty cool. Thank you. I will choose to take that as a compliment. I just... If we go into that room, and the same... You're right, but if the same thing comes out of his mouth, I think I'm gonna flip out. <laughs> I just... The more I see elevator doors, sitting at this table, there was a... Didn't we get a dagger? Or am I misremembering? Yeah. Oh. Little monoblades. This is what I mean. It's like someone's taken my brain, like a snow globe, and just shaken it up. <laughs> Feel like I'm remembering things that never happened. Didn't... Didn't we get engaged? That would happen in reality, I believe. It did? That's what I remember. Well, good. <laughs> and at that point, uh, yeah, a servant uh, walks up and kind of taps you on the shoulder, Russia. You recognize him as uh, one of the few that's always around Mr. Yin Shaw, which is your handler, Mr. Yodinobu's partner. Uh, but he comes in um, just uh, timing perfectly, just as you're finishing up your meal um, and leans down to you, Russia, and says, Mr. Yin Shaw will see you across the hall, you and the team, uh, as soon as you're ready. Thank you. Of course, thanks. We are uh, being summoned. After I guess you. you should go. Hazel is going to and start in that direction. <laughs> yeah, as soon as uh, you all four start standing up, uh, Mr. Yodi Nobu looks and stands up, and all the assistants, all the other execs look at Mr. Yodi Nobu and then all, all at you four, and they all follow suit and kind of stand up and bow down. And Mr. Yodi Nobu says, Welcome to the family, and thank you so much. Uh, uh, very exciting times here. Th thank you. Very exciting. And he, he claps, and the rest of the execs actually start clapping, and they look at you and nod as you're leaving the room. A little awkward, a little uncomfortable. <laughs> he claps. <laughs> uh, are we just clapping? Or? No, don't Whoever clap. is standing closest to Hades, she's going to lean over. <laughs> what are they doing? Uh, some sort of uh, business thing. I don't remember that from when my family was in the business. No. Uh, maybe it's just a little lost in translation. And then Hades will also clap as they leave. <laughs> <laughs> and you clap, and as you leave, you see them kind of all sit and go back to talking. You see some servants coming with trays and serving drinks as they all continue on with their sort of social dinner and moment. Um, and you cross over the hall following Rush. You see uh, uh, Mr. Yinshaw's uh, servant kind of in, in, in front of him going over to the desk and you're seeing a big elaborate office very similar to that brain dance when you met uh, in the office uh, overlooking the city overlooking Tokyo and you can see uh, you know it's a, a little bit different but you still see these huge sort of like uh, dragon uh, sculptures and as you enter the eyes kind of light up red um, kind of giving uh, uh, away a bit of, of drone uh, in these statues, uh, you instantly can see that as the eyes light up. It's not a hidden sort of thing. Um, and as you come in, you see other two assistants behind Mr. Yinshaw, him there with one Arasaka operative standing off to the side of him. Um, as the other assistant goes and takes his side, Mr. Yinshaw uh, directs you to sit in four chairs on the other side of his desk. Please have a seat. Okay, I'll uh, take a seat. If there's an opportunity, I'll shake his hand, but, you know... Yeah. Being a businessman. Yeah, as you do, you know, he's gesturing to go. You kind of take his hand to shake. Oh, very well. He shakes and then takes his hand back and then nods. You can tell it's a little Western, Eastern culture clash moment, but he goes with it. Um, and yeah, you uh, four take your seats um, as Mr. Yun Shaw says. Uh, and again, I, I know uh, Mr. Yodinobu has already apologized for such circumstances uh, today and what would seem as the past weeks and rush for you even longer, but. Uh, everything has its purpose and, and necessity towards the process. So again, I thank you. I thank you so much. Uh, we do have uh, the first mission at hand. Uh, we'll need you to go back to Night City as part of 
well, an underground operative unit, uh, very similar to what you've experienced before. Uh, he goes down at his desk. You see him messing with some uh, buttons or controls as you hear mechanical uh, sort of noises. You can't see what's going on back there, but then he raises up this case, uh, places it on the desk, and slides it over to you, Rush. Um, he says, this is biosynced uh, to your print and encoding. Uh, you will see right here there's a, a tracking device placed in there leading to Night City. Um, you have uh, 20,000 uh, unmarked uh, eddies at your disposal uh, for expenses, cost, anything uh, that you might redeem necessary. Uh, follow this tracking device to Night City. We'll give you transport tonight uh, back to the city. Uh, your wife is uh, safe in your new uh, mansion home in the exec zone. We'll drop the rest of you off at your given uh, uh, living quarters and uh, the following day we would like you to proceed uh, to this tracking uh, beacon uh, it's sourcing uh, back to an AI Nova 3 uh, that we need you to basically track down and get from Makoshi uh, it's somewhere in the original Arasaka building in the hot zone but we're not sure exactly what to uh, to make of this that was part of the simulation uh, consider that a bit of training uh, maybe a bit of foresight uh, to what you need to prepare for. Uh, please take those precautions on the first day uh, back so you have the next day to set forth uh, with this tracking. Uh, retrieve this AI Nova 3 onto the said drive that's in the case uh, next to the tracking beacon. And then uh, signal us. Uh, give us a call. We'll have operatives uh, in route. They'll be there uh, within hours uh, to pick you up and escort you back. So it's not exactly the same mission again. Not exactly the same mission, no. Now, what That's exactly is... Variety. What exactly is the pay on this mission? Uh, well, you have this 20,000 unmarked eddies to use at your disposal. Uh, whatever isn't covered with expenses is uh, free to your own personal, but... Uh, as assured, you have a place here. You won't have expenses. We have your exec home, all of your expenses covered. Now for the rest of the team, obviously, uh, you're the leading fixer of your edge runner team. So please uh, delegate and take care of that rush. Sure. All right, Mr. Yinsha. And you can tell he's kind of talking back in that, that way, almost brain dance way where like they're kind of putting rush in this leader position even though you guys have been a team no one's ever kind of acted like a leader no one's had that you guys have been equals in a team and you help each other but you can tell clearly uh, ever since that ghost town moment the whole kenji stuff and they took rush first and pulling in like you know maybe him a little higher ranked up too as well they're kind of putting him in that position of forcing him to kind of delegate and do this you kind of get that feeling everyone kind of is. to ali it's perfectly normal you know she's loyal she's with it she's cool she's falling in line everyone else maybe maybe a little uncomfortable but everyone's playing along but that's kind of how the situation reads. Uh, but he pushes the case over to you, Rush. You see clearly a, a tracking beacon beeping. You see kind of a digital map hologram pop up. You see Night City uh, kind of at a small blur. You would have to get closer to see exactly where it's going, but it looks centerized. He already told you it's kind of leading to the original Arasaka in the hot zone. Not sure the current condition, but it'll take you there. Uh, and you see the little drive where you're supposed to get the AI Nova 3 onto it. Uh, but he pushes the case over to you. So please uh, delegate to team. You have the, the 20,000 on Mark to work with. Thank you. Is there anything else? Uh, no. Uh, Ride will be prepared to leave uh, just in a couple hours. Feel free to uh, spend time in your lounge. Uh, I'm sure we can get any kind of gestures. Anzu to take you and you, you hear Anzu's voice behind you as he's entering the room. Always buzzing around nearby uh, at, at a moment's call, but he enters the room. He'll take you back to your lounge. Uh, your items are all there, all of your current weapons, um, all of your current gear. Feel free to access the Arasaka uh, data pool uh, base. Uh, any of the supplies from uh, the, the, the given uh, armory is uh, free to use. Uh, please uh, enter inventory and anything you need to prepare. You have a couple hours. Well, we'll definitely need radiation suits. And some way to patch them up. Mm -hmm. Maybe even some I, healing abilities. I think we're idiots if we don't get some stims. And yeah, Rush, yeah. We'll, we'll let uh, Anzu escort you back to your lounge where you see all your original weapons and melee and everything that was there. Um, 
you know, uh, original clothes and stuff, kind of nice and clean and folded up and everything. Um, everything's down there. You're in the lounge. Anzu leaves you there. He says, I'll come and get you in a couple hours. We're ready to escort. Feel free to access the inventory. And he kind of uh, gestures in motion. It kind of picks it up as the wall lights up and you see the armory, the, the inventory list, all the Arasaka um, access items and things that you have. But now, now you can get back into that conversation. You're alone in the lounge. You can kind of discuss all that stuff. Smart rifle, smart <laughs> sniper rifle, smart handgun, yeah. armor piercing rounds. Oh, my flamethrower, my flamethrower. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Flamethrower. Oh. Yeah. As soon as yeah. it comes out, she'll, she'll hold it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I so we need you. EMP Four. times five. We need four radiation suits, and they need to. Be oh yeah, yeah, high quality radiation suits, patching kit. That flying spider drone again, or no? Um, can't hurt yeah. spider drone. <laughs> Who's making a list of this? <laughs> I guess it's me. Well volunteered. Gra grappling hook, a grappling hook, and a rope. Oh yeah, that was very handy last. Oh, night. that was very nice. <laughs> Do we get two of those? Maybe two. That's yeah. a really good idea. Yeah. Hey, have you ever seen those inflatable bubble things? They 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 sometimes well, play they games in on TV. In that. <laughs> Are you talking Zorbs, about Zorbs? That's it. Zorbs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll just roll our way. <laughs> Well, I mean, having said that, uh, could we could we get hooked up with some with some AVs with some bikes? Yes, there's a there's a beacon, but we all know there's a lot of terrain to get over. Yeah, when you look into uh, the inventory list, you see you know all kinds of items, weapons, armor, anything that you really need, but not a lot of big items. You know, big big items that would need to be transported, um, like that, or little. Mm little outside no of it, but you have that 20,000 unmarked bills to work with when you do get back to Night City. So anything that you can't get in normal weapon armor or gear inventory, absolutely, you can source it. No. Now with Rush Rank 10, I mean, I don't think there's any anything you can't source, you know? Um, yeah. I don't think you can get an AV for 20k. <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> Yo, leave some of that to spend on other things. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we're not dying, okay? Remember fine, all the but... radiation poisoning that you took? Listen. Yeah, I got I got patch kits. If I kits. Up some of my body parts, then uh, it won't really matter as much. H what? Yeah, let's mark down a. <laughs> let's uh, for fun. Let's do this when it comes to certain things like this. Like for instance, uh, current stock. Let's uh, Bud, give me a one d ten, and this is how many EMP grenades that they had uh, in current <laughs> stock. And then and then. Okay, cool. So you got uh, you got the five that you wanted. That's what you said. Um, yes. Now do nice now do kit. another one d ten. This is how many patch kits were available, along with the radiation suits. And as you're ordering on inventory, you see some clearing is in, <laughs> some some saying sourcing, and then going green minutes hey. later. Like you can tell, like you know, it's a very active system. But yeah, uh, ten patches available uh, to go with the hazmat oh, suits. Very right. cool. Um. But yeah, you got the sniper the rifle, right? The smart, yeah. smart sniper rifle, the flamethrower. Um, just run me back yeah. through the list again so we make sure uh, Allie has a, has a list there for everybody. Yeah. I've got 10 patch kits, 5 EMPs. Was it 2 Smart snipers. 2 grappling hooks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Smart sniper, a smart... Uh, I already have a smart handgun and a smart... Yep. Assault rifle. So yeah, just the smart sniper will be great. Thank you. Okay, and then we mm. wanted a spider drone. A flying. Yes, flying, flying drone. Um, yes. yeah, we got those. Uh, pat ten patch kits. They had loads in stock. Um, a radiation sensor, like an actual detector. Geiger. Yeah. Geiger. Geiger counter. That's the one. Two grappling hooks with rope. Nice. Yep. Nice. Yes, and and I guess. I actually probably pulled out my rocket launcher. Should I thusly roll to see how many rockets I can get? Yeah, can I yeah, go for that. Do a 1d10 and let's see how many rockets are in stock for you. And again, oh, you know, oh, this, is, this is a bit arbitrary or a bit, uh, you know, like, like I said, Rush can source anything. So anything that you can't get here, when you get back to Night City, you'll just have to spend six. some money on it if you want more than six. But you have six missiles, six rockets. 
Oh, 20k <laughs> could buy a lot of rockets. It's very true. <laughs> it's all spent on rockets. Yeah, I think... There will be no hallway left standing. I think I'm good, although I wouldn't mind no. some... Hallways just fear Hades everywhere she goes. I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm very good at throwing grenades. But I mean, apart from EMPs... Well, there's you know, like regular grenade. old explosives. Yeah, there's frag, frag there's yeah. flash, biotox well, biotoxin. Frags, oh. nearly brought, frags and missiles nearly brought the place down last time. Well, biotox biotoxin, <laughs> you get biotoxins. Time. That's yeah, not going to bring the, that down. Is that another D10? Yeah, yeah, do a D10. Let's cool. see how many they have in stock. Whee! Bud, bud, look for smoke bombs. Six. Nice. Six. Smoke Bye. bombs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they've only got a couple here. <laughs> this is so fun. Guys, it's funny how, like, yeah, I was just going to say, like, gave us a shopping spree. I, I, I was going to say, wasn't it like 20 <laughs> minutes ago you were all like, God, Rob is so dark and rough on us. I'm like, get out of this. Now we're back. <laughs> we and now you're like, too. this is so fun. Shopping. Like, I'm cool Please now. Stop. I'm good now. Like, <laughs> but what about, um, uh, Hades, what what about uh, Cyberdeck? Ooh. Cyberdeck yeah. mods. Smart thinking. Programs. I would love to get Yeah, they have uh, all the different upgraded Cyberdecks, programs, things that you might want. Um, what we can do is, uh, yeah, you can you can get a Cyberdeck upgrade uh, this way. Uh, Any I other like programs? I new stealth program. My other one has broken. Yeah. Mm, nice, Fun, nice. get it out of the machine. Well, you, 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 you have a look. I, I don't know what all these programs do. <laughs> Any others? Um, I think I'm good. The only good question. I'm, I'm pretty good with my gun. I got my cyber snake if need be. I just really wanted some grenades. And have we got any quick heals? Any? Oh, speed here. We, we, they have to be administered yeah. by a med tech. So. Oh, yeah, okay. remember, a med tech has to... Should we purchase Trauma Team? Oh, do they have insurance schemes? Oh, yeah. Like, on... Oh, yeah, we should definitely get Trauma Team cards. We should, we should get, we should get covered. We should get health insurance. <laughs> get health whoa, insurance. whoa, whoa, what are you saying? <laughs> we're going to blow away on health insurance. No. No, not this time. We're not. <laughs> this please, is please a come under the umbrella. Gig. Yeah, they have <laughs> trauma team platinum cards, please. Yeah, they have a uh, uh, trauma team uh, subscriptions that they can uh, plug into you. Yeah. So instantly <laughs> get get your application passed under the corporate uh, uh, guys there. Right. I'm happy with that. That's all I really wanted. Uh... <laughs> Cool. Uh, any okay. other, any other programs? Any other things that Rush might need to? Anything else you guys can think of? Yeah, I think. Um, I think some that I got last time. Um, that I don't know if it was during our adventure or not. Um, would be a defender, uh, which helps protect my brain meat pieces uh, when things go horribly awry, and also. Um, there was one other one that I think helps me with um, sliding. Yeah, I think you got Defender. Didn't you get a second copy of Sword, too? Yes, yes. I know you got uh, two different programs before, but yeah, again, that was during uh, Brain Dance, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you can get them now. Yes, good, good. <laughs> yeah. Cool. La last call on the shopping spree. I think I'm done. Can't haggle with this system, can I? No, you're just getting it. You know? <laughs> you're getting it for free, man. What do you want to? What do you want to haggle? Uh, oh, I thought you we pay were still me. Paying. You pay me to take these items. Is what he's having. <laughs> no, it's free. Uh, you're pretty much. Yeah, you're. you're, you're yeah, you're pulling out of Arasaka inventory and armory right now to get the job done. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I, I do want to check all of my stuff and the stuff that we get from Arasaka for bugs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me a conceal yeah, reveal. Oh my god. My dog keeps whining. Oh. He wants to play. He's, he's, he's sad I see him back there. He's being cute. 
20. He's like, why did this uh, happen again? <laughs> yeah, Rush, you notice uh, there are uh, some bugging devices. You notice that pretty much on every set of your clothing that's there, there's a bugging device. And on most of this new equipment that comes in, you see these little, like, nano chip sort of things that are slid in uh to the gear that like you find all of them but yeah like this stuff is like riddled with with bugs and you find all of them okay um i'm gonna remove them if i can yeah yeah you see them you got control so many bugs yeah i'm gonna just <laughs> drop them all in the sink and wash them down the drain yeah you pull them all out uh dropping them in you find them on you know, Ali, Buds, Hades clothing, as well as their gear. Like I said, all the clothing, all the gear, you're finding them in random sets and stuff. Like, obviously, just kind of peppered along all of them. But you find all of them, uh, removing them, uh, flushing them down. Just on that, that last sort of wash down in the sink, uh, the door opens just as the last Please, one almost one catching more you. Thing from the vending machine. Um, as Anzu steps <laughs> in, are we about ready? Oh, what, one, one more what? thing? A fancy Snacks. hat. A fancy hat for me. Oh, okay. Oh, not for uh, us. Right, See what hats. Hat. What kind of hats do they have here? Uh, we have uh, all clothing styles and gear, and any size that you might need. Anzu kind of gestures over to the machine, and you see all the clothing options kind of popping up. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? Some of these are pretty fancy. Bowler I think I hat. Get, like a, a pirate hat. <laughs> yes. I think, I think I should I, have a pirate hat. I think you should get a pirate hat. A pirate hat, I think, would suit me. I think it would be very. Do they, do they have a pirate hat? <laughs> Um, let's, let's do, we'll do a 1d10 if it's under your luck stat. We'll say they have, they have some, they have some goofy costume options. I was thinking more stylized, right? In different genres, but yeah, they might have some, they might have some goofy costume versions for fun. Uh, let's see if you're lucky enough. No. Yeah, no, unfortunately no, no goofy hats, but they have all, you know, there you go. Yeah. They have uh, all, all the typical, uh, you know, styles in fashion and. Um, Very nice. Yeah. So at least you got that. But yep. not 1600s fashion. No, Dang. but close. It's close. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, you get that uh, as Anzu gestures. Uh, your ride awaits. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah, ready as will ever be. be. Jinx. <laughs> Best friends. Hey, guys, I just I looked it up. If we spend the full 20K, well, actually, with a discount with our top two fixer, we can get a gyrocopter. Ooh. What? Twenty. It's twenty k. Twenty k for a gyrocopter, and then if you factor in the discount, we'd have money left over. Oh. Unfortunately, I I don't know how to fly. I haven't spent any points on pilot yeah, no anything. <laughs> we could have it. Isn't that enough? Robert Tables. Look at it. Robert Tables, <laughs> Robert Tables and Chad. Gyrocopter. I barely know her. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Gyrocopter. <laughs> 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 50k for a uh, uh, AB4. So I'll, I'll give it for Ryder Tables lines. at least. Um, hey. but, but yeah, uh, as you gestures, as you kind of step out in the hallway back to the elevator, as you see him take the top floor in this 40-story uh, building that you're currently in, you know there's kind of the dual building, but it goes all the way to the top, opens up into a sort of cargo sorting room. And this is the only thing that actually kind of looks familiar when you come in. It's not a mirror image. It's not much different. It looks pretty much the same as the brain dance. You see all the cargo lined up, you know, text people going through it. It's like some sort of inventory stock room coming in from the rooftop through that clear plexi bullet glass sort of entrance with the security guard sitting there, uh, just kind of nods at Anzu as he gestures and you all just go right through up into the rooftop entrance that looks exactly as you saw before, except for the fact that you're on a 40 uh, story building with you the hologram hawk emblem from the hawk faction of Arasaka, but you see next to it uh, about halfway down a 20-story building where on each floor there's these sort of connecting hallway tubes going across where it's a sort of dual building uh, with connections of each floor next to it's you know just a bit different than what you saw uh, coming in in the in, in, uh, versus you know versus the brain dance that kind of replaced the real reality of when you came in. If you remember those concentration checks that you did at the beginning to kind of remember that the elevator buttons are different and you're kind of remembering reality versus what the brain dance kind of fogged over. This is one of those moments again. Uh, but you get up there, you see uh, an AV, some operatives. It's open. Anzu uh, just nods and says, "The the best of luck to you and your team. I hope to see all of you very soon." Uh, you make your own luck. Catch you later. Yeah, and you step into the AV as it takes off in uh, 
going off across the, uh, the <laughs> skyline of Tokyo, and you see the building kind of in the distance, uh, just instantly putting space as this AV just tears off out of Tokyo, getting over the seas. Um, after you're flying out for approximately about an hour or so, you kind of hit international waters territory, um, and once again, you see uh, the whole fleet of Aerozeps kind of traveling that sort of circular rotation path um, that you saw in the brain dance that you saw on the way out here for real, but uh, back into that on the way back is the, the cargo containers that are transported as like a, a kind of a carry-all underneath these Aerozeps. Um, flap open as the Aerozep flies in and lands and it closes up for uh, storage for this long transport. Um, the Arasaka operative in the back just kind of leans back, kind of slouches down. You can assume he's resting. Uh, he has his face plate. Can't really see him, but he's sitting there. Uh, you see the other drivers in the front through the kind of fogged out uh, glass that separates um, just talking to each other and sitting, one of them kind of leans back uh, against the thing, getting comfortable, maybe getting some sleep, hard to tell. The other one looks like he's messing around and is aging a little bit. Everyone just seems to be relaxing, but the AV kind of sets into this as it closes up, and the four of you uh, kind of see that you got, you know, maybe about a uh, eight to ten hour flight back to Night City, as you've been familiar with, both in reality and in brain dance. but I'll let you four kind of take her from here for another moment of conversation, some planning, some anticipation, uh, anything else you want to engage in. Hades will, in fact, lean toward the group and say, Hey, 50 Eddies for anyone who can get him to take his helmet off. Wait, Did this you? feels familiar. <laughs> it does. Yeah, but it didn't, it didn't happen this time. Come on. Be a sport. Can you believe they simulated our friend's beard? I how do you, how cool. do you even manage that? Yeah. No offense, but I thought... The computational cool. power for the how lush it is. I'd love to find out, because <laughs> hair texture is a, it's a funny one. And notoriously difficult. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about Rush's beard. Sorry, Rush. <laughs> <laughs> I can't actually remember that no man's name. What's his name? Jinx. Isn't it Jinx? Yeah. Jinx. Jinx, Jinx. And Skittles was the one with rainbow hair. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I just saw Cold Spice's saw comment. That. Rush with kitty ears, cowboy hat. Instead he of says, howdy, he says meowdy. <laughs> um, I mean, just to see if it works the same or not. Yeah, that's I'm gonna the get one of my bonbons. Um, <laughs> he's real into it. Hi there. Uh, just have some chocolates to share. Wondered if you wanted to partake. And then you see him kind of come back up, and he says in Japanese, uh, "No, thank you very much. I'm I, I'm perfectly fine. Thank you." He kind of like gestures back down. There. So I guess it is different then. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Just just to try, Hades is going to um suddenly Jesus. like jump up and start. Jesus! I will not actually scream, but <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! A spider just went up under your mask! A spider! A spider! <laughs> All right, give me a, give me a give me a persuasion. Oh man, rest my luck going on this. <laughs> oh dear. Important things. We're very silly, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, well, we're not being like. <laughs> when we're getting along. When very we're intense. Being, when we're not being uh, the cyberpunk equivalent of Game of Thrones with like social and political machination. <laughs> We we not do that. 18? We make poop jokes. Eighteen question mark. I'm rolling it right now. I had to open up the NPC and fantasy grounds there. Um, yeah, nice. You, uh, yeah, you kind of pull that and jump up and freak, and he just kind of wakes up and like looks looks around and then looks at you and like, a spider, what? there's a spider right here. And he starts right start saying there. in Japanese like, my helmet, a spider. What, what kind of spider? What is it? And he pulls yeah, it off and Japanese hey, he pulls it off and you see a young man, maybe mid twenties, uh, Japanese. Um, pulling it off, you can see some tribal tattoos coming up the neck, kind of like lit up, and he pulls up the helmet, and he's kind of freaking out and looking in it. And what, what, where did you see it? Hayes kind of will jump forward and act as if she just pulled it off. And, and just start stomping on it. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh! You lucked out, it had oh. these markings on it. You know the kind. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not familiar, but thank you. Thank you. Uh, I hate bad. spiders. I uh, hate really bad. Uh, yeah, oh, that oh. was a close That fun. was a narrow escape. All the all the operatives, missions, training, everything I've been through with Arisaka, but uh, but but spiders, uh, spiders. I'm telling you, that's they've got lots of legs. Yeah, that's all just to grab you with. Too much. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. He puts A lot back of eyes as well. She, she'll turn too many. Around. When she turns around to go back to her seat, she's like, 
Damn it. How many eddies did we save for that? Yeah, 50. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. <laughs> Everyone to hands. Well, one. <laughs> God, I love you. <laughs> Flipping through. <laughs> nice. And then suddenly, like, you hear a, a sort of, like, tapping at the at the window of the AV thing, and you see Jinx <laughs> leaning, like, hey, yo. Hey, y'all are back. Hey. Hey. Jinx. What do you mean, back? Well, we took you out here not too long ago. Uh, been out here for a few days, and uh, how's it been? What, what you been up to? It's been terrible. As in you brought us here? Uh, yeah. Just from Night City to... Okay. Yeah, we did the whole yeah, transport. To... Remember, I was even wondering about this whole... Well, and he looks over at the operative that looks like he's sleeping. You know, this whole new uh, friendship thing. It's a little odd, but... Uh, you, you, you all right? You remember? We... Just a few days ago. And your beard yeah. looks yeah. as silky as ever. A it lot is. has happened. It is. A short space of time. We're family <laughs> now. Oh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> so a little odd. Uh, you, all right? you feeling all right, bud? I'm just gonna give him, give him the look of like, it's, it's a long story. <laughs> yeah, you can you can tell uh, you know his expression changes. No role needed. Like he picks up what you're dropping. He's like, you, know, you can he looks a little bit concerned and looks back at the operative that looks like he's sleeping, and then back over to you, uh, bud, kind of looking at the other team members and uh, you you all right? Hey, you might, uh, maybe yeah. one of y'all take a look at this right here. I just need a little help kind of closing up this lock hatch. Usually I get Skittles, but she's got to man the wheel. If you mind stepping out and just help me with this. Maybe, one, maybe a Bud, you're one of the strong boys here. Why don't you help me with this for a moment, if you would? Oh, yeah, I need uh, to stretch my legs anyway. Why are you asking Bud? He's not that strong. No offense. Oh, well, uh, no offense, young lady. Uh, just, uh, you know, he's right by the door here, and uh, we're, we're okay. i just get a little help. I'll be you. right back. I just think you might need a little assistance. That's no, it. we'll be fine. Thank you. Bye. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Jinx kind of <laughs> walks over to the back thing and starts messing with the latch that's already Ooh. down. But as he's like holding on, he just kind of stops and he looks at you. But he's like, now, what the frack is going on here? My man, uh, this is, doesn't <laughs> seem right. And uh, that, that little, alley, like little alley situation there, that seemed a little off too. Uh, just fill me in, man. Is everything all right? Uh, look, we've been inducted into the corporate program at Arasaka, and they uh, go to some extreme lengths to ensure loyalty. Some of us have managed to wriggle out of the more insidious methods they use, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it looks like they wormed their way into Ali's skull. I think because she spends a lot of time in brain dance and recording brain dance, she's maybe a little bit more susceptible to it. I don't know. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was definitely getting a vibe there, my man. Uh, I'm sorry to hear this. Uh, look, <laughs> you deal with the these guys and this is what they do to you. Yeah, well, if you remember when we came out, well, maybe you don't remember. It seems like you've been through it, but you know, just just a couple days ago uh, bringing you out here. I, I, I told you I was like, this seems a little off. Uh, they're just not the tip. I mean, like we do the transport deal and, you know, we're kind of at the mercy of just needing the pay but uh any cl mm -hmm. any closer to these guys man I'd, I'd be out i couldn't handle it it's a little too dangerous uh, well you know um rush was out here we had to come out we had to get him back so this is the price we paid for friendship i guess well hey uh as far as i know we're off schedule till the next call it seems like they've got us on a night city transport forum uh non-stop um, but, uh, you know, y'all have our number. You hit me or, Jinx, uh, me or Skittles up any time and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll come in and scoop you up or whatever it takes, uh, you know? I, I appreciate it. Uh, we, we, may need to, um, we may need to cash that in before the, uh, before the week is out. Uh, heading back into the hot zone when we, when we get back. Oh, okay. Uh, well... We will be in Night City's area just waiting for the uh, the schedule to come through. And, uh, well, it sounds like maybe they're just going to be wait till it, they're going to make us wait till it's time to transport y'all back. So, mm. yeah, just uh, if anything uh, happens. I really hope we don't have to. Go, I really hope we can stay stateside, honestly. Uh, I hope we don't have to go back to Tokyo. I've had 
a fill of the place. Yeah, well, if there's anything we can do to help, just uh, call. Uh, don't hesitate. We're, we're here for you. Uh, I, I appreciate it, Jinx. You, you're a good guy. Yeah. Uh, this, well, is what, this is what real loyalty looks like, not whatever fake crap that Arasaka are trying to instill with their nanites and trackers. Uh, it's like I said before, you know, good edge runners and, you know, uh, trustworthy friends like this. It's few and far in between in Night City, let alone uh, this time and age across the land and all the places we travel. But, uh, you know, we appreciate you and, uh, you know, yeah, we got your back. So, but we probably probably get back before uh, before your girl gets a little more uh, suspicious and uh, maybe that operative wakes up. And I, I don't want to be on the wrong side of this, you know? Yeah, yeah. I hope I can find a way to snap her out of it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I have no idea. I can't help you with that. I'm sorry there, buddy. Yeah, that's all good. Walks back, uh, kind of the AV is, you know, you get back in, you see the Arasaka operative just kind of still slumped over. It looks like for the most part, he might have fallen asleep because he's, you know, not moving, just slumped over. Um, you see Russian Hades Alley kind of chilling there while Bud was going over that and out there for a few moments talking to uh, Jinx. What was Hades Russian Alley doing? Um, I think Allie would kind of just move in closer to Hades and just say the, the last part before we woke up. Do you remember what happened? Uh, and Hades had her agent out um and she puts her arm around Allie and says look at these things i found and she's just gonna start like scrolling around through it do you see this i think i'm gonna get one of these installed whenever we get back and get a chance like is that your sign that you don't want me to talk about what happened well I mean, uh, I don't feel great going into the hot zone, you know, I, I fell over every piece of unbroken terrain, so I can't really see that going well again. Mm. Well, if that happens, I will carry you. I will do whatever it takes, Hades, to make sure that you're safe. Yeah, but it's not just me, you know. What about you? Who's going to carry you? You know, I mean... I, if, if I get these things, she's going to pull her agent back. If I get these things, you know, I can be a lot stronger. And then if people are shooting me or I'm falling over the weird ground and stuff like that, and she kind of pulls it up to, um, Allie's face, then I'll be able to carry you with one hand, one finger. See this? Look at this. This one right here. She's flipping through like a bunch of them. They look pretty cool, uh, but... Yeah, I wonder if they'd come in different colors, you know, because, because I, I don't know, I really like that. the regular uh, gray and silver. It's not really my thing. Maybe you should get a purple. Oh, yeah. I think purple would be nice. You know, I thought about getting one of, like, a mouth snake like you have before, but I didn't want it to seem like, you know, I'm taking, I'm taking on your, your special thing or anything like that. Hey, listen. And I think she's going to, like, entwine her, her fingers and, like, you know, face to face. What's mine is yours. So if I got and a mouth snake, you'd be okay with that? I think that would be excellent. And Rush, you kind but of... You uh... just can't have mine in my color. <laughs> yeah, Rush, you're, you're sitting there. You hear, uh, yeah, Hades and Allie kind of engaging in this conversation. In a few moments, where Allie kind of presses for a more serious conversation, kind of trying to change the tone, but Hades just staying on point with keeping shit light and just kind of scrolling through items and just kind of keeping it very light. It's almost an attackful way, trying to avoid that whole human perception thing, giving up to Allie, who's not brainwashed or who is moment, right? You're, you're kind of picking up on that a little bit as H Hades successfully just keeps the conversation about these items and things. Uh, would Rush interject or anything during those moments or just kind of uh, seeing it? I think he'd stay out of it for the most part. Okay. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you sit there, you kind of witnessing it, staying out of it, trying to avoid any confrontations, knowing Allie's situation right now, and just she knows your situation, and it's just it's a little bit of tension oh, there. But I'm it, ready for confrontation. Exactly, and you know, but you're all making it work. <laughs> but like you know that they're they're them two are not brainwashed, right? Um, and and they know you are. Well, Hades knows too now, but you don't know Hades yet. You know, you really haven't talked to her too much about the series tones or argumentative sort of stuff like you did with Russian but but you're still carrying forth this mission you don't want to see anybody die so there's still that even though you're loyal to Arasaka so everyone's kind of playing along falling in line by different motivations but you're all still kind of there but as that conversation comes to a peak Bud enters into the AV but you just enter as you see Hades lightly kind of throwing an alley off of the conversation not letting the tone change as you come in step in and rush just sitting there watching what do you do I'm going to catch the shut eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Hades, wild well action. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, watch this. Oh, my God, bud, there's a spider. There's a spider right on you, right there. It's crawling into your jacket. I love spiders. <laughs> they keep the insects away. So he immediately passes out. <laughs> I, I want to believe just because at that moment she'd reach over and actually pull a spider off him. You're no fun, bud. I like that. I like that. Yeah, there really was one, but he's still okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like Dan I mean, Servo in chat says, spoken like a true Aussie. Yo, husband spiders. <laughs> I mean, he'd be, he'd be sad if there wasn't one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, he you told that. me there was a spider. And it does, and, and it does kind of make sense. You know, you do have this sort of eight to ten hour flight. Now, even after this conversation, definitely time to catch some shut eye. Uh, try to get on the t on the same time zone at least. So when you get there, you have a fresh day to kind of do like they said, uh, get any supplies, do any setup, any planning you might need to do, get some sleep, reconnect with uh, Cypress for Rush, you know, figure out things so the next day you can kind of carry forth this mission. So maybe right now everyone get some sleep after you're able to kind of go over things, have these moments, talk with Jinx, all these different things, um, to be woken up uh, by the Arasaka operative and the rumble of the AV as it's pulling out of the arrow zep and you're kind of waking up as you see Night City skyline off in the distance as it's kind of pulling in from international waters and coming into Night City. And the operative says, uh, yes, everyone, please wake up, uh, get some composure. We'll be landing in just a few moments. I hate... I hate sleeping sitting up. Ah, oh, it's got a crick in my back. There's probably enough space you could have laid down. What? Oh, well. Un under the operative's feet? Yeah, no, no, I think I'll pass. I really don't want to <sighs> step foot out there. Home sweet home. I just don't. Why not? Uh, I feel like <laughs> once I step out of this place, everything's gonna happen the same way it did before. Uh, Hades is gonna take Ellie's hand. Ellie's hand. Well, we're just gonna have to make sure it doesn't. Yeah. And the AV pulls up. Uh... Just at that moment, you kind of pull up and land um, what looks like an outskirt sort of highway on the edge of Night City. Not fully into the city, um, but kind of on uh, kind of the northwest side of the city there. Um, and it lands down. Uh, you can see that there, there's clearly uh, a limo parked right there. And it, it actually looks exactly like the one from Braindance. However, uh, you see a young Asian man in a full suit standing out front of it um, as you all exit. Um, and he says, hello, uh, Mr. Rush, I am your driver, driver uh, by you. Uh, if all of you want to enter, I can uh, take you to your uh, homes. Sure, thank you, by you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. He opens the door, um, and you see uh, uh, that same imagery uh, from the limo that you saw in Brain Ants, lots of neons and, uh, uh, you know, computer screens and access points with uh, uh, its own sort of traveling uh, uh, data pool access in here. Um, it's a pretty elaborate uh, mobile vehicle that's obviously been customized and tricked out by Arasaka. But uh, yeah, Bayou opens the door. All of you are entered into it. Um, as Bayou drives into Night City, you see the AV take off as the operative gets back in, heading out uh, towards International Waters direction. 
Um, and this limo takes you into Night City. Um, it takes each of you to your homes, uh, whether shipping container, hotel, or where you were living pri you know, prior to this, uh, uh, these seasons ending up in Tokyo, you know, wherever you normally lived prior to this brain dance situation. Um, and they drop you off. Um, everything is the way that you left it literally uh, days ago, even though it feels like weeks. Um, and you're able to go in there and, and uh, you know, clean up and then maybe meet up with each other and have the day to run errands or do whatever. Uh, we'll say that all of you have agreed to kind of go to your respected homes. Like I said, clean up, freshen up, check in on things, rest for maybe an hour or two, and then meet up in the late morning, early afternoon to have the day to do whatever you all need to do for planning for this mission. And that's kind of where we'll start uh our session next Thursday, at knowing that uh, the last drop-off was Rush. Rush, you got dropped off in the exec zone in your McMansion, just like you saw in the Brain Dance. Like it's all legit. It's real. It's really there. Um, it looks very similar to the one that you saw in there. Um, and as you pull up, uh, you see Cypress just waiting out front, uh, looking at you. And even before you can step out as you're opening the door, she comes running down and gives you a hug and uh, just says, I "I've been so worried about you. I I I've been so worried about you." Um, I hug her back, but I don't let go, and uh, I'll tell her a little bit about the brain dance and what happened, and I'll say I had to say goodbye to you there, and and it broke me up. Some awful. Look, I'm glad to be here with you now. If things go south ever, just know that I love you. Oh my God, I, I don't know what they put you through, but I, I love you too. This, I, I, I'm so sorry that you've been through this. And she just like gives you a, the deepest hug and she's just crying. And this is where we'll end our session. Ooh. Got me teary eyed. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh man. This is, this is the sad season. <laughs> oh, this is. What are you guys Don't doing? Imagine. These past few. Can we go back to, can we go back to diseased cows? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to go Where back the, to a diseased cow. Can we cow? get back to poop jokes and diseased cows and stuff? When, <laughs> where did that go? What happened? We've been trying. <laughs> no, I can imagine. I want to imagine as soon as Bud gets back, it's the exact same conversation, except to all of his guns. He <laughs> <laughs> I had to say goodbye. Yeah. I had to say goodbye He's to like you. hugging his rifle, his other gun. He's like, oh, and you, and you, oh. Mr. Frag Grenade, I, I left you behind. I'll, I'll never leave you again. I want you to meet my new sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't say that. I wasn't cheating on you. She's cool with all of us. Start pulling in the sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> you're all gonna make friends <laughs> oh, this, i could so nest of guns. what's funny all jokes aside i could absolutely see a solo doing that in the new uh, cyberpunk edge runners uh animated series like that sounds so perfect for something like that like you would absolutely cut to the solo like with talking to his guns romantically you know and like oh i love that for i love that so much for bud um Hey, great session. Oh, uh, we're stepping into season 11. If anyone didn't see the flyer with the Arisaka washing machine and the name of the title, Brainwash, Lather, Rinse, and Repeat. Uh, hopefully it all kind of makes sense now based on the previous uh, seasons and the brainwash scenario and the Groundhog's Day reference like we've joked about the movie, the sort of repeat aspect of this. But, uh, but hey, that's where we're at. I want to thank chat for being part of it, rewarding the plus twos and just being part of the story, helping the team along the way. It really does mean a lot. I want to thank my players being part of this craziness. I know it's it's a little outside of comfort zones of normal like gameplay because you know you're repeating certain things and it's like these moments where like you feel like you, you know it's just dismal and then other things happen and like you know just I, I love that you guys are kind of rolling with the punches and making it happen and leaning into the role play and you're making it epic and I, and I love it you know it, just doing such a, a great job and I know it's not easy uh, you know being in this this sort of uh, uh, you know, plot or whatever, and the, these role play <laughs> moments, and then dealing with you know the the the, the brain uh, dance brainwash situation, and having to do these crisscrossed uh, you know human uh, perception checks, and then having to role play to such like just top notch role playing from all of you. I'm just so Aww. impressed with it, so good, and I hope chat sees it too. Uh, you know, you guys are just killing it. 
Thanks, bro. Well, we've got a pretty good GM. You're killing us. Yeah. You're killing us. Hell yeah, I like it. I'll take bit it. Bit by bit. Okay, so, anyways, that being said, we'll be here next Thursday. Everybody, make sure uh, you know you tune in, you show us some love and support, and make sure you subscribe and follow to Sirenscape and give it a share. We would really appreciate it. See you next time. Take care.